Hey guys, what is up? John here from flyatmikehelp.com coming to you live from Anchorage, Alaska for Two Minute Tuesday. Let's put two minutes on the clock. Let's go. So today's topic is how to not end up like this guy. This guy had a really rough day, obviously, and what did he do wrong? Well, it wasn't anything major, actually. He took off with carburetor ice. And with carburetor ice, your engine does not produce full power. He wasn't really able to get very much higher than the treetops, clipped the treetops, and went into the ground. Now, you may say, okay, well, I'm just going to check carburetor heat a little more thoroughly than on my run-up, and I will be good. This will never happen to me. I'm good to go. I can go ahead and click the pause button or click the next button and watch the next video. Well, we want to share a little bit more about this with you because this isn't just about carburetor ice. This is about any time you shouldn't take off. This is about any time your engine is not producing full power. And what this whole video is really about is about static RPM. And what static RPM is, when you have a propeller and you apply a certain amount of power to it, it's going to spin a certain RPM, right? So we apply more power, it spins faster. Your engine has a set amount of power. So you apply full power, it's going to spin a set RPM. It can't spin any faster unless you apply more power. Now, we want to achieve a minimum amount of power out of our engines to know that they're good, right? That we don't have carburetor ice, that we don't have cracked cylinders, we don't have fouled plugs, we don't have you know shorting spark plug leads, we don't have any number of things that could cause the engine to not produce full power. We want to make sure that when we are taking off, we're getting full power. Simple way to do this, right? When you apply full power before the airplane starts to roll on the ground, before it really picks up speed down the runway, check your RPM gauge, check your tachometer. And that number is going to be a minimum safe number for us to take off with. Now, you should just know what number you typically see there and use that on every takeoff if you're flying the same airplane. But if you're getting into a new airplane or you're not quite sure, you haven't really paid attention to that on takeoff yet, then you can refer to the type certificate data sheet, all right, TCDS, type certificate data sheet, Every single certified airplane has one of these. So let's go ahead and use an example of what should our minimum static RPM, what should be the minimum safe RPM we see for a Piper Cherokee, right? So Piper Cherokee, we're just gonna type in Piper Cherokee PA-28 TCDS FAA on Google. And we get this result, we go ahead, click through here, we look through some technical data. Now, this is for a lot of the PA-28s out there, all right? That covers arrows, Cherokees, Warriors, whatever. So let's go ahead and by serial number, narrow it down to the one we want. And we're going to find here for a specific engine and a specific propeller mounted on that airplane, we should have a specific RPM, all right? And if we don't see this RPM number, well, your tachometer could be off, which isn't totally you know unrealistic or your engine may not be producing full power, either because carburetor ice, cracked cylinders, low compression, any number of things. As a pilot, when you're taking off, don't worry about all those extraneous things. Just worry about, do I have power to take off or do I not, all right? Now, you can also get that feeling in the seat of your pants, that acceleration you feel. Maybe the brakes are dragging. That wouldn't show up even if you had full power from the engine. Maybe you're just heavy, you have low tire pressure, you're going slightly uphill and you didn't think about that. Any number of those things, right? So before there's a lot of airflow through the propeller, before you're really rolling down that runway, check as you're getting onto that runway. Mixture set appropriately, mags on both. Pressure, oil pressure, make sure that engine's going to continue to run when you do get into the air and make sure you have the proper static RPM. So even if you're one of those guys that doesn't like using a checklist, just a little memory aid before you take off when you're getting onto that runway, mixture set, full rich or appropriate for the density altitude, mags on both check that you got oil pressure and check that you got proper static RPM when you get that throttle into full. If you don't have that, abort, stay on the ground, let somebody else figure it out or you can troubleshoot it later. Don't try to be thinking, well, do I have low compression here? Do I have carburetor ice? Let me go ahead and check my carb heat and continue this takeoff roll. That would be very silly, all right? So from a safety standpoint, this really could save your life. Check static RPM every time you take off before you really get rolling down that runway. Super easy to pull the power to idle and stay on the ground, guys really difficult to deal with some of these issues when you're airborne and the trees are coming. So hopefully that helps you. That may save your life or share this with other people. It may save their life one day. Always check your static RPM on takeoff. If you have any questions on this or how to find a type certificate data sheet for your airplane, you can go ahead, go to flyatmikealpha.com, email one of our CFIs, they'll respond to you. Click on ask a question at the top of the page. Somebody will get in touch with you. Check out all the awesome, amazing courses on flyatmikealpha.com. We have a 100% pass rate for private pilot, instrument pilot, commercial pilot check rides. 
everyone that takes our private pilot ground school, our instrument pilot ground school, our commercial pilot boot camp, the check ride prep and the ground schools on there are super helpful. Definitely check them out. And there's a lot of other courses on flightmikealpha.com as well that could help you, like tailwheel flying, seaplane flying, crosswind landings, airspace, any number of things on there, accident case studies. Go ahead and check it out if you have not already. The link is in the description below. And as always, guys, if you cannot fly every day, flyatmikealpha.com. Stay safe. We will see you guys in the next video.